all right guys welcome back to the garden it's august 4th and my first round of beans is now finished the plants are done you know it's been around you know 60 days and they're just not pumping out any more beans there's no more blossoms the plants are starting to have red mites which is what happens at the end of their life cycle especially once it's dry and hot in the summer so that's the pest that kind of finishes off the plant so i want to come in here and take these plants out now before they get too infested with the red mite it could spread to my healthy beans and my squash. What I want to do though, because beans are a special plant, they're a legume, so that means that the, the bacteria that live on their nodules on the roots create more nitrogen. One of the reasons I criticized being at the right time of year and it was easy to direct seed was I want to give these beds a lot more biology, a lot more nitrogen, um, and these guys will help me do that. Um, so now, I'm going to let these beds rest. These beds have a ton of rocks in them still, and they still have weed seeds in them. So what I'm gonna do is snap off the bean plant and I can just snap it at the base and just leave a little bit of stem and then the roots underneath are gonna decompose and be eaten by the earthworms and the other life under the soil. So I will cover this with my tarp for about a month, kill the weed seeds, allow for the roots to decompose, be eaten up, converted to nitrogen and lots of other nutrients and I'll come back in get more rocks out prep it boom plant it again for the fall I'm just gonna show you how I'm ripping these out you know I could use my clippers and come in there or um, I don't have a scythe but a scythe would work really well I think I think it would work on this but I don't have one so I'm gonna come here by hand and just snap them real quick and then I'll be feeding all the bean plants I'm just gonna chuck it into my chicken coop um, since I think of my chicken coop it's just a big compost pile whatever they they'll eat whatever they want and whatever's left will get mixed in to all the straw and cardboard and dirt and, and become compost pull these out so you know if you come in here with clippers and do this well that's an extra step most of these just come out if I just pull sideways pull I'm trying to snap the plant at this base part and I just pull it like that. Got everything ripped out and tonight I'm going to come and tarp this thing. I'll water this whole area for like an hour so the water like spills out all into the pathways and everywhere. And then over the next few days, a lot of the weed seeds will germinate and die under the tarp. I just wanted to show you. <laughs> Basically the whole ground is covered with uh, beans. So they're gonna go to work in here the next few days and tear this up and eat a bunch of it, mix it all up with all the carbons I have under here. And this will be a great little protein supplement for them as well as other nutrients. So yeah, they couldn't be happier. Yeah, they don't get the fully free range, but you know what, this is... <laughs> The other reason that's really cool, um, getting rid of uh, old and dying and non-productive plants is a big part of pest prevention, uh, especially when you're using only organic methods, if you're not using any pesticides, even organic pesticides. At the end of every plant's life, it gets very weakened and lots of different bugs and even fungus or other things can attack it. So it's going to be difficult to see, but there's red mites starting on this leaf. And that's what happens once it gets dry and hot here in the summer in San Diego. The red mites start attacking uh, bean plants and cucumber plants uh, and even some squash plants. So um, a big part of organic pest prevention is to get rid of dead, dying, decaying plants. As soon as they're not productive, just get them out of the ground um, and get them composting or have your chickens eat it something because um, the longer you let them sit there, the longer the aphids or whatever bug can build up their population and jump to the next healthier plant. Once they build up their population, they can take over stronger, healthier plants. Um, but you'll notice in your garden, they go for the weakest plants first. Just found an amazing giant alligator lizard. Hiding in the green beans. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to rake up all the dead leaves just in case there's leftover mites or other 
funguses or some weird disease on those. I will get those out of the way. That'll only take me 10 minutes. Uh, I'll throw it in the chicken coop to compost it. Um, then I'll come in here and I'll just cover it with a tarp. And all these green weeds that you see uh, will just die, of course, because they're not going to get light. They're going to be suffocated. I'm just going to cover, smother, and it'll be done. I'll leave it covered for about a month. Um, at some point, I'm going to come back and reform my beds. Um, I'll broad fork the beds, and I may add in some soil amendment as well. Um, then those beds are ready to go for fall once I have my transplants ready, or they're ready for direct seeding. Alright, so as you can see, the chickens are loving picking through all the stuff I just threw in there. The beds are just going to rest, the rest of the leaves, and then the green weeds are going to decompose under the tarp. I'm just going to put the lines back and then cover it with the tarp. Then I'll soak this in for an hour, hour and a half with, with my drip, and then uh, that'll set the weed seeds in motion, start sprouting them, and kill them. All right, so I got the lines laid out and hooked up again so that I can water it in. The tarp's put on. I just got to put a few more sandbags out there to hold it together, and then I'm done. So yeah, I hope you learned a couple of things about bed prep in this. Yeah, snuffing those weeds out is super important, especially in the beginning of getting beds established. You know, if you get one dump of weeds into your beds, they're going to be around for years. So the sooner you can get them out, the better. And you know, after a couple years of being really vigilant, you won't have any more weeds anymore. As, as long as you don't have some blow in from the from roads or things like that.